So the next question is, why is he dangerous? And I think it's because he influences impressionable young men. So there's a whole kind of undercurrent of men who struggle with woke culture. Everything from the Me Too movement and outgoing, uh, sorry, um, outdated previous misogyny is being challenged. And I think that scares some of these people. They're scared that their male privilege is being channeled, as being challenged, challenged, and it leaves them with a loss of a sense of identity. And I think that's what Andrew Tate is for these young men. He gives them this sense of identity. It's almost like he gives them permission to hold their sexist views. And I think this is very dangerous because he basically can weaponize the, gull the gullible and vulnerable individuals and potentially even encourage violence. We know that certain uh, followers of his, admirers of his, have done things like um, uh, have actually approached and physically assaulted and threatened people that, uh, that have challenged Andrew Tate publicly.